So yesterday, Season 1 Reloaded came out for Modern Warfare 2, and with it, we got Raid Episode 1, which is called Atomgrad. Now, as far as this raid goes, I have a full playthrough of this up on my channel where I kind of go through all of the puzzles and explain how to do them. Uh, however, a lot of it is a little bit confusing and there's a few little things you can do that is gonna make this raid a breeze for you, whether you are playing on regular or whether you are playing it on veteran. And I wanted to go through this because in this raid, it's not just one person that has to understand how the puzzles work. It's absolutely everyone on your team and you have to work together. So I wanted to go through and give you a complete guide with some little tips that'll help you do this raid even easier whether it's choosing the correct class or completing the puzzles properly which by the way since every member on your team needs to know how to do the puzzles i wanted to put this together as simply as possible so that you could send this video to your raid mates who you're playing with and they can understand how the puzzles work as well so you can get through this even easier so we're going to go through it beginning to end with all of the little tips hopefully you enjoy if you do hit that like button without further ado let's start from the beginning so the first thing you're going to want to do is before you even dive into the raid it's your kit so when you go into the raid, you have to choose a kit and you have three options, assault, medic, or recon. This part's very simple. You just want to choose assault. Everyone on your team wants to use assault. And the reason for that is because in this, you get the armor box. And basically you can just keep throwing down armor boxes throughout the raid. That's going to stop your teammates from going down. You can take a lot more damage. It's just simply the best one to use simply for that armor box. On top of that, you kind of get like an ultimate ability where if you use it like a kill streak, you call it in, you get 60% more health and you get full armor. And in doing this, you can only do it once a game. So essentially in this raid, you're going to want to save that for the very end of the raid and we'll talk about that when we get there but to keep it simple everyone on your team use the assault package everyone keep throwing down armor boxes throughout the raid so once you are into the raid the very first part of the raid is simply killing your way through the aqueducts to get to the big door at the end of the hallway and to do this you can do it in two ways you can be sneaky and take out enemies one at a time or you can go in guns a blazing i didn't find too much of a difference in this part we just went in guns a blazing my tip for this one is make sure before you go into it, your team is fully armored up. Just one person throw down an armor box, get armored up. And then every time that someone else is armor box kind of loads in, you throw that down, keep armored up and just work your way to the end of the hallway. This part is pretty simple. It's the easiest fight you're going to have throughout the entire thing. Just move forward slowly, stay behind cover, plain and simple. Now, once you fought your way through the aqueducts, you go to the very end, you go up to the second story and you're going to go into a room and you're going to see some red lights. You're going to see some fuzzy TV screens and you're going to see a little place where you can enter a code. This is where you have to learn a puzzle. This puzzle goes throughout the entire raid and gets harder as you go. This is the section where you're going to want to learn how the puzzle works and make sure everyone on your team knows because later on you have to do almost the exact same puzzle while you're being attacked and you are on a timer and a very quick timer at that. So this is where we're gonna learn the puzzle. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look for a little red button on the wall. This is gonna open a garage door and you're gonna send one of your teammates through to the other side. On the other side, there's more of those fuzzy TV screens. They are gonna have to interact with those. Now, I'm actually gonna use Geeky Pastimes footage here because his works a little bit better to explain the puzzle. I'll have his channel linked down in the description if you wanna go check him out. He's very good at puzzles as well. Now, for this one, the first step to this is getting one person from your team on each of the fuzzy TV screens. When you do so, you're going to pan through the various different cameras until you get one where you see some numbers and you see some letters. There is going to be one of these on each of the TV screens. Now, looking at this, what you can take away is that for the letter A, it gives you number two. For the weird X with a line down the middle, it gives you the number zero. And for the Russian A, that's just what we called it, it gives you the number six. So those symbols are going to correspond with those numbers. Similar on the other screen, we have the backwards N as number seven, E as six, and the W looking one as eight. These then correspond to the symbols on the red terminal. So while two people are looking at the TV screens, one person is going to be looking at the terminal. Now, the easiest way to do this is the two people who are on the TVs read out what they are seeing. So for the first one, the first person would read out a2, weird X0, Russian A6. The second person would read out backwards N7, E6, W8. The person looking at the terminal would be listening to this and marking in their head that backwards N is seven, Russian A is six, and E is six. It's also important to note that the more you do this, the more symbols are gonna appear. There's only ever going to be three that correspond with numbers. Once those numbers are matched to the corresponding symbols, you read from left to right, and that is the code that you put in the system. 
Now, this is the reason why each member of your team has to learn how to do this puzzle, because each person can only enter a code once, which means each player on your team has to do it once for each puzzle. This puzzle comes back later on in the raid. So this section, you're not being attacked. Everyone learn how to do this very, very well. Once you do this three times, it unlocks the next door. We get to move on to the next section. So this next section is a little bit easier, but it's also a little bit stressing. So for this next section, you're going to go in through the aqueducts and you are going to be given one air tank. This air tank has to be shared between three people. Easiest way to do this is you'll all swim together. You stay close together and you keep passing the air tank after each use. So if I use it and then Zack or Immortal takes it, and then Lazy takes it, you stick with that order over and over and over again. You use it, pass it along. The next person uses it, passes it along, just over and over and over again as you move through the maze of the sunken area. Now, there's a couple of different twists and puzzles you're gonna have to get through on your way. The first of which is trip wires. Basically, you swim through a trip wire, it explodes, does a lot of damage. The key to this is have armor. This is why I told you to use the assault package. If you are fully armored, you have three armor plates, the trip wires do not kill you. So just send one person forward through the trip wires, they take damage, but then you can keep moving forward. You don't even have to worry about them. The other puzzle you're gonna run into is doors. Basically there are doors, there's little red buttons on the wall and you basically have to hold the red button and your team can move through. Once they are through on the other side, they can push a button on the other side and then let you through. The way to do this is you. everyone takes a breath from the oxygen tank. The person that stays on the side of the door keeps the oxygen tank. The other two go through, hold the door open for you. You swim through, take a breath of the oxygen tank, and then your team takes it off of you and you keep moving forward. There's also another one where you have to use a generator to turn it on to go through. Just turn on the generator, go through very quickly. Two people move through to the other side, then they hold it open for you. Very plain, very simple. The only trick is make sure the last person to go through the door keeps the oxygen tank. So the next section is probably the most simple. It's just a fighting section with some juggernaut suits. The easiest way to kill the juggernauts, what I saw is throwing Molotov cocktails at them and shooting them in the head. If you run out of Molotovs, throw Semtex. Keep in mind, you have a backpack so you can really load up on explosives. You definitely want to do this because you're going to be fighting a lot more people throughout the next section. Now, as you move into this next section, you get to kind of like a circular area. Once you get to this circular area, there are two terminals that you need to turn on. And these terminals are very important areas for this next section. So essentially what you do is you go in, there are some bomb drones, make sure you shoot those right away. They do a lot of damage. Uh, and then there's a bunch of different characters that you have to eliminate. Once you turn on the two terminals, you are now at the final puzzle of the raid. It is the exact same puzzle that we had before but this time you are being attacked and you are being timed. What you're going to want to do is whoever is the best at the puzzle, they are going to do the last round. Who is ever the worst is going to do the first round. This time, instead of looking through cameras, you are in a room where you can see the giant screen. It'll be the same sort of letter and number sequence we saw before, but this time you're in the room and you are being attacked. Read it out the same way that you did before. Whoever is at the terminal, take note of the three that are there, and then you punch that into the machine, and then you switch positions. Everyone goes from one terminal to the other terminal, and the person at the other terminal goes to the thing where they input the code. Just like that, and you wanna do this as fast as possible because soldiers keep respawning. So you wanna read them out as fast as possible, put it in as fast as possible and move forward just over and over again until you do it three times. And then you have hit the final sequence of the raid. This one is simple. You just survive. And essentially what you want to do to this is you want to go to the door where you were inputting the codes. This is where the door is going to open at the end and you'll be right there. You don't have to worry about fighting too much longer, but you have to survive for about four minutes. So the key to this is armor plates. As soon as you get to the door, one of your teammates throw down your box of armor plates. Everyone fill up, armor up, you get into a fight. Whenever someone else gets their armor box charged, throw it down, reload on armor, do it over and over and over again. The only two things you're gonna need to pay attention to are one, the bomb drones, they spawn in right above the door. When they come in, have one person shoot them, everyone else drop below the water, it'll deal no damage to you. When the juggernaut comes in, everyone focus on them, headshots, molotovs, deal with them quickly, move forward. It's not that difficult as long as you keep armor plates on 
that is the key. Once this happens, you can then interact with the door. You all touch it and then it opens and the mission is complete. Congratulations, you have completed the raid. So that is the full guide, the full walkthrough for it. Hopefully it helped you out. The hardest part is the puzzle. Once you figure it out though, it is very, very easy. You just have to get that down, having your team work through it very quickly, especially when they're being attacked, read it out as quick as possible, get that code put in, move on to the next one. But that's the raid, raid number one. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, if this helped you out, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn notifications on, all that jazz. Let me know what you thought of the raid down in the comments. And until next time, peace out. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this too hard.